I teach immunology, what we call neuroimmunology, meaning the immune, um, the immune system function in the central nervous system. And I teach various courses and lectures in, for example, autoimmunity, autoimmunity related to the central nervous system, and how the immune system can impact the central nervous system, such as in neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease, and how inflammation generated by the immune system can play a role in that and create some of the problems that we see, like multiple sclerosis and Alzheimer's disease. One of the areas of work we do is on the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is sort of the highway to the brain, and it's a regulatory process that selectively allow certain things to get into the brain, but not other things. Otherwise, we'll all be dead, pretty much, right? And so what I do is study how this phenomenon that is referred to as the blood-brain barrier, which is actually a physical thing, a physical structure, what we do is try to understand how that is regulated. What are the factors that regulate it? And it, when it, it's dysregulated, what happens to cause such dysregulation? So I get constantly emails from industry, research is going on in industry, our research in clinics where people try to find out how can we use your knowledge of the blood-brain barrier to deliver drugs to the brain to treat some of these neurodegenerative diseases. Another area we study is inflammation is a part of everything and the immune system is at the heart of the inflammatory process. So what we do is try to figure out under what circumstances does the immune system cause inflammation and what are the consequences in the short term and in the long term. And secondly, can we intervene and stop it before it gets long term, such as Alzheimer's disease? Because for example, Alzheimer's disease, it's an end stage disease. It's a disease where everything has broken down. Nothing can be fixed at that point. So we need to intervene earlier and figure out what are the calamities that happen to cause Alzheimer's disease. For example, people get Alzheimer's after the age of 65, most Alzheimer's cases. So there is a whole lifetime of events that has to go on before you get to that. So we want to know what happened in 20 years or 30 years in this lifespan that we could stop to, um, to not cause Alzheimer's?